This video is going to show you how to add a new customer to your Shopbox account. First, you'd go over here to the left and click this plus sign. Scroll down to new customer, click that once. And now we have the new customer page. So simply fill out the fields, first starting with their name. Every field that has a red star here is a required field. The legal name is not required. If this customer is posted, you would check off this box. If they're taxable, check this box. If you are not to call this customer, then check this box. And if you'd like to stop supply for this customer, you would check this box. The next field is for the status of the customer. So you would click the drop down to choose the status. The next field is for the type of tax that you would apply to this customer, so click the drop down and select it. The next field is for the terms that this customer will be following. Click the drop down and make your choice. The next field is for the sales rep, so click this drop down and choose the sales rep. The next field is for the primary contact of this customer. The next field is for their email address. The next field is for their primary company email. The next field is for the primary company's phone number. You can also add another email by clicking this link right here and we'll open up more boxes. And you would fill out the email and then select the type of email using this drop down right here. To remove this field, simply click this X right here. Then you have to confirm if you'd like to remove this email and press yes to continue. Same thing if you'd like to add another phone number, simply click this link right here and then it will give you the fields you need to add a new phone number. And then X out if you'd like to remove it. If you'd like to add the address of the customer, you can do so right here. You'd have to click add another address to add the fields to do so. And then you would simply fill out this information if you're going to add an address. We're not going to add one right now, so I'm going to remove these fields. The next field is for the industry that this customer falls under. You can use the drop down to select the industry. And if the industry that this customer falls under is not in this drop down, you can click this plus button right here. It will pull up this form right here where you can add a new industry. And you would just simply fill out the name of the industry and then click save. But we're not going to do that, so we're going to cancel this. The next field is for the lead source. And same thing here, if the lead source is not available in this drop down, then you click this plus symbol and that will pull up the new lead source form where you would simply include the name of the lead source and then click save. We're going to cancel this though. The next field is for the pricing level. So here you would select the pricing level from the drop down. And then the next field is for the credit limit that you are going to give this customer. So if you don't have one, you would leave it blank. If you do, then you would fill out this form. Now we have another button here that's labeled more info. Click that and it opens up more information that you can fill out about this customer. If this customer has a tax exempt code, you would fill it out in this field here. The next field is for the expiration date of their tax exempt. You can either type in the date or you can click the calendar to pull up the calendar to select the date. The next field is for their account number. Now the next field is for the legacy. To select their legacy, you would click the drop down here. Now the legacy is the system that they used prior to using Shopbox. So you would simply select the system that they used prior to choosing Shopbox. If they have a Facebook account, you can include their link here. Same thing with Twitter, their website. The next field is for the license number. You would put that in this field. Their toll-free number would be in this field. 
If you have a file of this customer on your computer, you can put that information here. Any background information that you have about this customer, you would put in this field. The next field is for other info, which could be anything that you think is relevant. And then if there's anything special that you would like to input about this customer, you'd put into this field. And then when you're all done, you would click the Save button. And now your new customer has been created. Thank you very much for watching this video. And please stay tuned for more videos from Shopbox.